Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 Young Marines Virtual Adult Leaders Conference and our presentation of the Drug Enforcement Administration Kiki Camarena Awards. We are honored to be joined here at Headquarters Young Marines by Mr. Sean Ferns, the Head of Community Outreach for the Drug Enforcement Administration. Mr. Ferns is a, over 20 years with the Drug Enforcement Administration, starting out as a policy analyst and community relations expert. He is the individual that created the DEA Museum at their headquarters that many young Marines come to visit when they're in town. But he and I started about the same time in our current roles when he took over community relations for the entire DEA across the country, taking the lead on programs such as DEA 360, Drug Take Back Days, and Red Ribbon Week, all programs that young Marines support. So we're really honored to have you here. Mr. Ferns, please. Thank you, Colonel Davis, and uh, greetings on behalf of the nearly 10,000 men and women of the Drug Enforcement Administration serving on the front lines, not only across the United States, but in now 70 countries around the world. I send greetings to each of you. I'm sorry we can't gather in person this year, uh, but this virtual opportunity doesn't lessen uh, the impact that the young Marines have across the United States. Each one of your units is doing incredible work. Uh, for 35 years now, DEA has said we must enforce our drug laws and go after drug traffickers, but we must also engage the community. And that all started with a special agent named Enrique Kiki Camarena, who many of you know uh, was the start of the Kiki Camarena Awards for the Young Marines. But you might not know about the history uh, of Kiki and his service and his sacrifice. The leadership and sacrifice of one Marine Corps veteran continues to inspire young people at every age level. After serving the Marine Corps, Lance Corporal Enrique Kiki Camarena then served as a special agent for the Drug Enforcement Agency. His work as an agent of the DEA led Mexican soldiers to destroy a massive marijuana plantation in Chihuahua, Mexico a decisive blow to the drug lords, costing them billions of dollars in losses. In retaliation, he was killed in the line of duty. So that's just a little bit about Kiki and his incredible work. I can't say enough, however, about the powerful partnership that DEA has with Young Marines. It is a lasting partnership that has gone on for many, many years at the unit level and at the local DEA field division level. Uh, what we were honored to review this year in terms of nominations were just phenomenal. And while not everyone is going to win one of the top awards, every single unit should be commended on behalf of all of us at DEA for all of your incredible work. You know, you just can't thank the DEA enough and the work in your staff and the members of headquarters that review the packages. I mean, we, we hand you a pretty substantial pile, you know, to add on to your workload already, okay. but, but really appreciate it. Now, yep, yep. The, and as mentioned, the agents at the DEA select the Young Marine Unit winners for the Kiki Camarena Awards. And the awards will honor the three units in each division for their drug demand reduction efforts through community education and peer-to-peer -peer role modeling. Young Marine units are judged on drug demand reduction hours, curriculum, and their steps to do outreach within the community. So with that being said, I think it's time to roll some winners. Shall we make the grand Please, announcements? Sir. Okay, we're gonna start with division one, and we're gonna go backwards uh, in ascending order. So beginning with third place, we're delighted to announce that the Blackstone Valley Young Marines have won third place for division one. In second place, the Fall River Young Marines. And finally, for Division I in first place, a huge congratulations to the Gettysburg Young Marines for their winning submission. We move now to Division II, and beginning with third place, the Lance Corporal Caleb John Powers Young Marines Unit in third place. In second place, the Southern Maryland Young Marines. Congratulations to them. And in first place in Division II, Manassas, Virginia Young Marines. We move on to Division III, in third place, North Central Young Marines Unit in third place. In second place, the Milton Lewis Young Marines Unit. And in first place in Division Three, Paris Island Young Marines. Congratulations to all of you. In Division Four, in third place, Mountain View Young Marines. In second place, the Guadalupe Valley Young Marines. And in first place in Division Four, the Jefferson Parish 
young Marines. In Division 5, the third place winner is the Lapeer County Young Marines. In second place, the Hendricks County Young Marines. And for Division 5 in first place, the Miami Valley Young Marines. We round out with Division 6. In third place, the Miramar Young Marines. In second place, the Southeast County Young Marines. And finally, in Division 6, in first place, is the Temecula Valley Young Marines. And again, congratulations to all of the nominees and to all of the winners of the 2020 Kiki Camarena Awards for the Young Marines. Thank you very much, Mr. Ferns. Really appreciate it. I want to do a second shout out for Miami Valley Young Marines. As some of you may remember, they were also the Fulcrum Shield winner for the Department of Defense Drug Demand Reduction for 2019. What a phenomenal job by them uh, on top of everything that's already been done. Uh, you know, the, the plaques, uh, because of where we're at today, uh, the plaques the plaques are in the mail, <laughs> and the checks will be in the mail as well right. to follow out next week here. As we put, we put a little cash behind that because we, we want to emphasize and support all the great work we're doing out across the country and for each of the units. It gives them a little something else to help uh, motivate and propel them to do even greater things in the future. Uh, Ms. Ferns, Sean, thank you so much for your time, for coming down, yep. uh, and then just for everybody's support of the program. It's a great partnership. I look forward to continuing in the future, and we're gonna do great things all across the country to keep people free of drugs. What I would like to say just in closing is that as the country does reopen, and it will, uh, I wanna encourage every Young Marines unit to collaborate locally with your local DEA field office. We have 226 offices around the United States, uh, and we look forward to the opportunity to continue to partner with those Young Marines units who we are already working with. And I again encourage you, if you're not in contact with your local DEA office, go to DEA.gov, pull up the list of the local field division and reach out to your demand reduction coordinator at that DEA office. We wanna to continue to work with you in the months and years ahead. Hoorah, that is just outstanding. Thank you, sir. And for everyone out there, congratulations to our winners and enjoy the rest of the virtual ALC.